Hello everyone, my name is Sandeep Kaur and I am from Boost Your English. Today we are here to learn about some grammar rules. Today we are going to learn about verb to have, has and have. Many people find it difficult to use these three forms of verb, have, has or had. Therefore find it difficult what to choose. Well, these three verbs are one and the same thing. They just vary as per the subject and as per the tense. They are used in two ways. As a main verb and as a helping verb. We also call them auxiliaries. As a main verb, verb have is used to show position. Position of a thing or position of anything that you can hold, touch, grab or feel. Like, I have a cup. Here, verb have is the only verb. It shows that I have a car, it shows a position. What else you can possess? You can possess a feeling. I have a feeling that Rahul and Ria are getting married. What else you can have? You can have a job. You can possess a habit. I have a job, right? Here we have used verb have as a main verb in the sentence. As a helping verb, we use verb have in present perfect tense. that describes an action that has recently completed. Like, I have completed my project. In this sentence, we already have a verb completed as in me. And have, verb have is acting as a helping verb in this sentence. Let me just make a chart to make it more clear that we will to use verb have, has and have. Well, this depends upon the subject and the tense. I, we, you, they, or we have plural nouns. Always use verb have. And if we have subject like he, she, it, and singular noun, use verb has. And when we are talking about past, use verb have, no matter what the subject is. Now let's take some examples. Like, I have done my work. Here, I, we have used have. With I, subject I, we have used verb have. He has gone to market. With verb, with subject he, we have used verb has. Uh, let's take an example like, I had a pet when I, I had a pet dog when I lived in Canada. Here I am talking about pups. So we have used verb cat. So this is all about today. 